Good morning. Welcome to St. Charles. Let us offer together our prayer for a better understanding of true stewardship in our lives and here in our parish. Lord God, you alone are the source of every good gift, of the vast array of our universe and the mystery of each human life. We praise you and we thank you for your great power and your tender, faithful love. Everything we are and everything we have is your gift. And after having created us, you have given us into the keeping of your Son, Jesus Christ. In the name and spirit of Jesus, we commit ourselves to be good stewards of the gifts entrusted to us, to share our time, our talent, our material gifts as an outward sign of the treasure we hold in Jesus. Amen. Our presider for this Mass will be Father Ryan. Please join us in our opening hymn found in the worship aid. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. On this Trinity Sunday, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the mist of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on the earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption, through whom we cry, cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The gospel of the Lord. So when we learned about the Trinity in, in seminary, it was, you know, one of those classes where you had to walk a tightrope because if you said too little or too much about it, you were committing a heresy. You know, the Trinity is very, uh, it's, it's mysterious. God is one God, three distinct persons. And so God isn't 33% and Jesus is 33% and the Holy Spirit's 33%, right? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all in themselves fully God. So we think of it this way, God created, Jesus redeems, and the Holy Spirit sanctifies. How appropriate this gospel is for all of us and for me. When we see Jesus, we worship, but we doubt. 
How often do we worship but still doubt? We are human. And in those times of despair, in those dark times, we ask why, we doubt. But God commands us to go and to make disciples of all nations. Our faith, while we are here on earth, and what I try to live out in my priesthood, and I succeed and I fail, but it's not just a passive faith. We don't just receive. We don't just come to church. We don't just get grace. We don't just get the Eucharist. Our faith ultimately should be active. That means we live our faith every moment of our life to the best of our ability, every breath we give to the Lord, every heartbeat. That's what the Lord commands us. What bogs us down is our sin. What bogs us down is our doubt, our frustration, our commitments in life, our crosses, our temptations, our hatred, our unwillingness to commit. But do not be afraid. Go out and love anyway. Go out and preach the gospel anyway. Go out to the best of your ability, even though you are a sinner and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ with every breath. The tragedy will be when we go before our Lord and we see all that we could have done but didn't do, all that we could have done but didn't do in the name of Christ. Let us go out and be those Catholics that change the world. At my darkest moments, at my loneliest moments, I listen to this line. I am with you always. I am with you always until the end of the age. Jesus Christ will never abandon you. And even if we may stop loving him or forget to love him, he will never stop loving us. Take courage. You may be struggling now. You may be in the dark now. You may have doubts right now about your faith. But know this. I am with you always. I will never leave you. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Let us stand now and bring our prayers and recite the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring before God our humble needs and petitions. For the church's mission of making disciples of all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and for an increase in faith, hope, and love among all people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in service to their country, may they be remembered with respect and gratitude, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Spirit to breathe freshness and renewal among all who are tired, discouraged, and downhearted, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Nick Delicio, whom we remember in this Mass, may all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the knees we hold within our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the one true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, in their unity of substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by the angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of Your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer You in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of Your Church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death You willed to reconcile us to Yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of Your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to You so that we may obtain an inheritance with Your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Charles Borromeo, our patron, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in Your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity Your pilgrim church on earth with Your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people You have gained for Your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you from their passing at this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in Thy unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Since you are children of God, God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of his Son, the Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord, The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.